Okay, today's video, we are going to be installing this faucet off of Amazon. I haven't opened it yet. I'm gonna open it up with you guys. It looks pretty good, pretty nice, pretty high quality in the pictures. Like I said, I haven't even opened it yet. Gonna be replacing this boring, old school, ugly one that's seen better days for sure. So I would like to change the sink, but changing the sink on this uh, uh, countertop would require like, you know, redoing everything since it's essentially these tiles are on top of the sink. So I'm just gonna do my best at just changing this and we're gonna go ahead and hopefully spice things up with this. So let me open it. Hopefully it's not too bad of an install, but I'll open it, we'll put it on, see how it works and uh, give you my honest opinion. So here we go. Forius, you can't imagine that. We are changing the world, okay? Whatever you say. Um, so here it is. It looks pretty decent, you guys. So I got kind of this brushed look. Um, they make some pretty cool colors. Like they have that whole bronze and you know dark colors, but uh, didn't really go with the rest of everything. Even though I prefer that, I didn't want to change absolutely everything. So it does come with this plate. So we'll replace that old crusty plate with the brushed one. And we got our two water sources along with this guy here. And you know, I think this is some sort of weight and it is. Yeah, so this is some sort of weight so it kind of returns because it's got this big head on it so that it brings it back. We're gonna have the collar. That's gonna be fun as always because you gotta get behind the sink and the tubs of the sink. So we'll get that on there. And should be pretty straightforward. So you can see this is gonna click into here. So that clicks into there because this goes up to the faucet and then this is your return that goes back all the way through and then you're supposed to slide this guy on i guess at somewhere so i'll take a look at the instructions but it's pretty straightforward we got to take that off we'll turn off our water source and uh, we'll start changing some stuff so you'll definitely want to get familiar and comfortable with underneath the sink here because you're gonna be on your back having a good old time so we'll get all this junk out of here Maybe give her a little quick little wipe and then we'll stick our head in here. So once you get down in here, you're gonna see your shutoff valve somewhere right there and there. Um, if you can't identify which one is which, in this case, we have reverse osmosis right here, which is gonna come off the cold water. So that's our cold, that's our hot. So both are shut off. Um, you'll see these extensions that come across to here, but we're gonna end up unscrewing them from the actual valves. So just make sure that yours are long enough these have plenty long extensions. Looks like I'm gonna have to get um, something a different fitting for a reverse osmosis system. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link that above, you guys can check that out. But it's a slightly different fitting, so um, we're gonna have to get something different to make a T, because that's got uh, the larger fittings on it there. But either way, not a big deal. So water's off. Probably not gonna get any action out of this. So just know that when you disconnect those, you're gonna get the remaining, you're gonna get the remaining water in those lines leaking out on you. So grab a rag and uh, go have some fun. So next up, grab yourself an adjustable wrench, get your rag down below, cause things are about to get messy. All right, so like I said, not a crazy amount of water, but you're gonna get a little bit of water out of there. Now we'll take off the cold. And we got the cold off. So next up, this one has two bolts on the side. Um, I'm probably gonna disconnect these crusty looking things just so I can pass it and feed it through that hole a little bit better. So I'll disconnect those and then we're gonna loosen those. It looks like a half inch nut on there and then hopefully we can get this old unit out. If you have one of these, use it. Less time underneath the sink is a good day. So it's actually 9 sixteenths. If I can contortion myself in here. quick work out of something that sucks. Yay! All right. So we're up top, this should wiggle free. And this gasket is probably stuck to that after, how old would this thing be? Uh, like 15 or 16 years, I guess. It's crazy. All right. The other thing too is it probably could have helped it out by bending those copper pipes in a little bit so we can get them through, but either way we will manage. So yeah, we probably could squeeze those in a little bit. 
because they're kind of fighting us. I'll show you guys what I mean. Right there. So, probably won't hurt to bend these straight or somewhat straight so that we can get this thing up and out of here. So like so. All right, that's out of there. I'm gonna clean this up before I throw the other one down. Okay, so we got our surface all cleaned up and now for the new stuff. So we're gonna have our plate, which we're gonna need. So let's get this out. So plate is centered. You might not have to use it depending on if you have like the three holes or the single hole. And then next up, we're gonna remove this collar because we're gonna have to install it from the bottom. So this collar is coming off. So you're gonna be taking off the collar, the stainless washer and the rubber one. So it's gonna assemble like this on the bottom. Rubber, washer, collar. It's looking pretty good already. That will end up going there, but we're nowhere near tightening this down, but I'm gonna have to get at least to stay since it's a one man show here. And I gotta get that to stay while I can go down and put these collars and washers and rubber things on. Okay, so we're gonna put those on in that order, you guys. Rubber, then the stainless washer, and then the collar. So do your best to get all these in here. They're not fun, but it is what it is. And then we gotta go all the way up. All right, and once you get that collar as tight as you possibly can, they have this little system, which is kind of cool. I don't know if this is normal these days, but see that screw and that screw there. Once you get as tight as you can with your hands, um, you can then tighten down those two little screws and that gives it the extra little snug it needs so that you're not having the whole faucet spinning up top. So now you're gonna see red and a blue. So for obvious reasons, that's our cold and our hot water. So we're gonna connect them to our taps where you're probably upside down. Hopefully you're not getting dizzy, cause I am. And we're gonna connect those up. So our hot water is on, our cold water is on, and you're gonna see this tag right here. It says install weight here before we click this on. So we got our weight. It's got two Phillips screws on it. So we're gonna loosen it off, put the weight right where it says, and then we can connect our water supply line. So here we go. Phillips screws are loose and we're gonna slide this up to there. Where that tape is we're gonna cover that tape and we're gonna tighten these up okay weight is on and last piece of this puzzle is to connect this so there we go you can hear it clicked in and we'll turn our water supply on and check for any leaks so double check and we'll turn on this one both taps are on and no leaks which is good Go up top, and we've got this fancy thing. So I guess that's how that works. Kind of cool. I've never had one of these before. But I guess this swivels here. You can put this wherever you want it. And let's try it, obviously. Eww. Some nasty stuff right off the get-go. There's that. Rinse that black junk out of there. And the hot water. A little bit of black junk out of there too. Only thing I notice is, I don't know that it'll be an issue, but this button feels a little bit cheesy to me. Normally you'd expect this to be made out of rubber or something, but it's made out of plastic. Oh, it's kind of interesting though. It's not like an up and down, it's just a in and out button so you just squeeze it anywhere kind of cool for the price of this you guys i don't think you can really complain pretty nifty so that's it okay so that's the video you guys let me know what you guys think of that thing um at the time of making in this video i think i got this on sale for like 30 almost 40 dollars uh somewhere around there so for the price i cannot complain whatsoever I think it's a huge improvement over what was there. Um, I'll link that down below if you guys want to go check that out. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. 
comment down below um, anything you want to ask or anything you think uh, you want to see on this channel next and we'll see you guys on the next video